Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using a form control list box to select data in Excel. I have fictitious data loaded in this Excel worksheet. I have three variables, survey, aptitude test, and skill test. And I want to build a list box that allows me to select a value from aptitude test and return the matching value on the skill test. So I'm going to start in the Developer tab. And if the Developer tab isn't visible in Excel, go to File, and then Options, and then Customize Ribbon. Over here on the right, you can see the Developer. I have it checked off, of course. If you didn't have it available, it would be unchecked. Just check it off and click OK. And this Developer tab will be available. So I'm going to go to Insert. And you can see under insert, you have form controls and ActiveX controls. I'm going to be using a form control and specifically the list box. So when you click that, you'll see that you have the crosshairs for the cursor and just drag it onto the worksheet. And then to format it, you right click and format control. And you can see there's also an option here to assign macro. So you can tie this list box to a subroutine. But in this case, we're just going to be using the worksheet. We're not going to be using VBA. So I'm going to format control. And there are several options here. Uh, you can change the size. You can lock it. This only takes effect if the sheet's protected. Properties, alt text, but most importantly would be the control tab and here the most important aspects would be the input range and the cell link so in this case the input range is going to be the scores and the aptitude test so B2 through B51 because there are 50 observations for this variable and then the cell link that connects to a cell on the worksheet in this case, I'm going to use G2, where the row will appear for whatever value you select in the list box. And I'll demonstrate that. So next, I'm going to click OK. And you can see that the values from the aptitude test are now populated in this list box. So if I were to select, say, the third value in the range, which is value 45, 3 is displayed in the cell link range, which in this case is cell G2, as I specified by right-clicking and going to Format Control. So if I want to, from this row number, if I want to return the corresponding value in the skill test, I know that value would be 16, because I selected 45, and the corresponding value here is an observation of 16. However, before I demonstrate how to do that, I'm going to show you how to convert back to this value. So whatever value you select in this list box, you can have that appear in a cell. And I'll be using the index function, so it'll be equal sign index, and then the first argument for the function index is the array. It'll just be the same range I used for the list box, B2 through B51. So after that, comma, then the row number will be cell G2. And then the column number, in this case, it'll be 0. So I want to stay in the same column, the only column that I have selected here. So I enter that, and you can see that whatever value I select, I not only get that location, that row number in that range, I actually get the value back in the cell below. So now we can extend that same logic to return the value that corresponds in the skill test. And I'm going to build that function over in cell H3. So again, I'll start with index. And then 
when it looks for the array this time I'm going to select B2 through C51 so all the values from the aptitude test and all the values from the skill test then comma and it's looking for the row number and I'm going to go back to G2 so the same row number the one that was generated by this list box and then for the column number you might remember for this function I used 0 I could have also used 1 it would return the same result in this case I want to use column 2 the second column in the range that I selected I'll enter a 2 here and then enter that function so you can see for the first value 17 is returned and that matches with the aptitude test score of 31 so I move down and select say 43 and that matches with 18 so now I can select a value from aptitude test and get the corresponding value and then looking at the list box I can go in here and right click and modify this size I can have more values displayed and of course it can still allow me to scroll or I can have fewer values displayed and of course you just will have to scroll more depending on what values you want to select so you can size it to meet whatever needs you have in the particular application it will display how many values you want and you can also change the width I hope you found this video on selecting values with a form control list box in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.